Hey guys, Medical Mini's question here. If I asked you, what is a paraneumonic confusion, what would you think of? Well, you would be right by saying it's a pleural effusion. However, there's a bit more to the story. So let's look into it. First of all, what you need to know is simply it's caused by none other than pneumonia. Alright, and particularly if we focus on the exudate, it is quite special in that it contains lobules or it's lobulated and also it, you could mention, contains septae. Pretty good. So what are the progressive complications or severity stages that you could see? Well, there consists of three that you need to know. All right, so number one, you will find the uncomplicated stage. Number two, you will find the complicated stage. And number three, the empyemic stage. Now, with uncomplicated, this is essentially sterile. All right, so when we're talking about the pleural effusion, the fluid is sterile, all right? So there is no pathogenic infiltration here. So when you're taking a culture or anything, you will not find any organism of particular importance. Next, when we move on to complicated, you may guess that this, in this case, is not sterile. All right. And finally, the empyemic stage here, you can probably guess that this is just a accumulation of pus within the plural space. All right. So we are talking here about pockets, pockets of pus. All right. And what's something of notice here is that the empyemic stage cannot form just like that. All right. There needs to be a progression. There needs to be prior fluid accumulation for there to become empyema. All right. Stage one and stage two has to occur in order for stage three to occur. So that is paraneumonic confusion. So next time when you're going over pneumonias, make sure to include this.